Hey there guys and welcome to a new let's play that I've been hinting at since yesterday. So yeah, I asked you guys to vote and uh, it was kind of 50-50, but of course my vote is pretty decisive as well. And I kind of want to just start this now. So yeah, new game, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on Wii U. I'm not a chick. And she doesn't even have that great a rack on her either. Alright, male character it is, because men who play as female characters in video games are just creepy. Character name will be visible. Oh yeah, you have to enter a name on the gamepad. And you can't record the Wii U gamepad, but luckily in this game there's nothing really important on the Wii U gamepad, so that's not going to be a problem. My name's Sakura, of course. Eh, clothing. Yeah, this is better. I don't really like the open shirt. I mean, this guy's lack of chest hair is surprisingly disturbing. Then again... Lost my line of thought. Okay, uh, type 3 or type 4? I don't really know what the difference is, so we'll go with this one. Color. Let's see, we have... All sorts of colors. It's like Skittles, they come in every color of the rainbow. Oh yeah, let's go with hot pink. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Oh, we also have the little color table to adjust it manually. Kind of darkish green. Yeah, I think that's a nice color. Yeah, what do we have now? Face. Okay, let's zoom in. Oh crap, that guy's pissed. Jesus, I'm not an old man. What the hell is wrong with him? Yikes! Okay, he's angry. Holy crap. Okay, that face is obviously meant for Asians. Uh, which one looks the most like me? I think I'm gonna go with type 2 here. Features, what is this? Oh, a mustache. I don't really have a mustache, so... Uh... Oh, you can make a neon green mustache. Oh, that's splendid. And I don't have a beard either. Maybe I should try one, though. Wonder how it would look on me. Anyway, hairstyles. I don't have... Jeez, I'm not Elvis. Christ. Uh, I don't have a ponytail. That's too short. Too long. Too douchey. Yeah, no, I'm not Justin freaking Bieber. And I'm not bald. Christ, I'm 20. You're not supposed to be bald when you're 20. This one kinda looks like my hair. Hair color. Okay. Not white. I'm not Dante. Or at least what Dante used to be. Let's see. Sort of brownish. Not too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. That's kind of too... I'm not a ginger. Crap, this is hard. Gotta get the right color. No, that's way too dark. I think this is... Kind of right. Yep, go with this. Okay, the voice. I don't think you can hear them all that well, but there's a lot more than I seem to remember there being in Monster Hunter Try on Wii. I think that one only had like 10 or 12 voices you could choose from. This one has 20. And most of them are kind of the same with the pitch raised or lowered. So, yeah. Not really sure why I didn't just cut this out. Might have been a smarter idea. Oh well. You get to listen to me ramble on about stuff for a few minutes longer. At least I think this only took me a few minutes to decide. Because none of them really sound like me all that much. So it was either... Kind of ranging from grumpy old man voice to squeaky 12 year old boy voice. And I'm not really sure where mine kind of like reaches. So yeah. I want this to be a perfect representation of my actual appearance and sound and all the other stuff. Even though I would never wear a shirt like that. I mean, jeez. Maybe the climate there is really hot or something. I can see someone wearing that in like the desert. But, uh, yeah, where I live, the climate is horrible. It's, uh, 
Spring officially started yesterday. And uh, pretty much the entire country was covered in snow yesterday. And I don't really remember there ever being snow in March before as long as I've lived. Okay, let's see how dark this can get. I wonder. Okay, it can get so dark that you can't even make out the facial features anymore. Jeez. Someone like that would really be awesome at hide and seek in the middle of the night. You would never find that person as long as they keep their eyes closed. Okay, we have here the gamepad settings. Which stuff you want to see on the gamepad and which stuff you want to see on screen. I'll go with uh, the health bar and map and all that stuff on the screen so you guys actually have something to look at. Also, because when you're playing this you're obviously going to be looking at the TV. So it's pretty handy if you have the health bar and all the other stuff you need on the TV. Alright, Hunter is set. Let's go on an adventure. But first we get the opening cutscene. Riding on a boat. Where are we going? So this is going to be a pirate game? That would be pretty neat. I like Captain Jack Sparrow up in this. Or that new Assassin's Creed main character. And there's a guy carrying some bones. Wonder where those bones came from. They're freaking huge. And kid fishing. And old guy fishing. Kid's like, oh, I'm going to catch this. Oh, crap. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Fishing ain't that hard. Even though I've never gone fishing. But I'm pretty sure many of you have because it's pretty much an American pastime. From what I've seen on TV and in movies and all that other stuff. It's one of America's favorite things to do when they're not working or other stuff. And there's a girl and a big ass shark. And some creepy goblin dude. Yes, there's creepy... Ugh. Why is he wearing assless chaps? What the hell? I did not need to see his underwear. That's just wrong. Just like that haircut of his. Do these people have no fashion? They're all wearing assless chaps. Oh god, where the hell am I going? At least she's not wearing assless chaps. Although I wouldn't mind that little... The girl in the skirt to wear those. If you know what I'm saying. And there's a cat working a farm. Yep. Made in Japan, alright. It's fucked up and crazy as hell. And of course the cat likes... Oh look, it's Yoda! Asian Yoda. Asian Yoda... Working a farm. And he's wearing a snazzy hat like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Shoutouts everywhere. And stuff is shaking and the old guy's like, I don't give a crap, you young people get scared way too easily. And town meeting. They're all looking at me, I guess. Why are you looking at me like that with your assless chaps? At least the old guy's not wearing assless chaps, that would just be horrid. That'd be instant brain bleach required. Anyway, here we are in town, my guy with a sword and a shield, and the sword is clipping through the shield for some reason. And of course the text is really small to... it's really small, really hard to read. That's actually the reason why I bought a 3DS XL to play the 3DS version of this game. Because I played the demo on my original 3DS and the text was just so small I could barely read it. And with a game like this you really need to Keep an eye on your surroundings at all times, so the bigger the screen, the better it goes. So that's why I splurged 200 bucks on a 3DS XL. And why did I buy the same game on 3DS as well? Well, you see, you can transfer your save file from the Wii U to the 3DS and back. So basically, you play the Wii U version at home, then you transport your save file to the 3DS version and play that on the go. When you're like going to your grandma's house. Or when you're on the train to college, or when you're on an airplane to a tropical vacation on Hawaii. Even though that's not a very feasible situation for the majority of us, I'm guessing. A friendly villager. Crap, the screen on my record on my computer is too small to even make the text out properly. Um 
I need to buy a bigger monitor. You see that home over there? That's my home, the one with the red and yellow curtain in front. So yeah, we're going... I'm gonna rough it in a house made of straw. And here's the creepy goblin guy with a huge ass hammer. He is the blacksmith. He makes weapons and armor and upgrades them and all that stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Provide you bring the materials. Alright, talk to her, the guild sweetheart. This is your love interest. Even if you're playing as a chick. I think. I've never played as a girl in Monster Hunter before. Anyway, she goes pretty gaga over your playable character later on in the game. I kind of really wonder, though, if that happens if you're playing as a girl as well. Has anyone ever tried that? Is anyone watching this a creepy 40-year-old dude who lives in their parents' basement and plays this game as a female character because... Well, just because. Anyway, here's a boat. And some other... Oh, and a kitty cat. Let's talk to the kitty cat. Nako means cat. They call me Tiger and Nako... Nako doesn't mean tiger, it means cat, you silly. Anyway, he's like a samurai cat. He's got that typical samurai ponytail and a sword. He's awesome. And I don't remember him being there in Monster Hunter Tri. So he's definitely new. He's talking about... I remember the Argosy. There was a ship in Monster Hunter Tri that came in with, like, trading goods and all that stuff. Apparently, it's expanded upon in this game, because I don't remember the Argosy being here from the start in Monster Hunter Tri. Price of tickets? Oh, he'll carry you, he'll ferry you to Port Tanzia, which is where all the multiplayer stuff is. Because you can play this game online with other people. And to be gravely annoyed at them for screwing up your hunting attempts every time. It's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't play Monster Hunter Tri all that much after a while because there were just too many idiots playing that who didn't know what they were doing. And online, you're playing with four people and if people die more than three times, then the hunt is over, you fail. So, four people, only three deaths, and it's not like three for every person, it's three for all of you. So, say if you were with three idiots and three idiots all die once, then the hunt is over and it's not really your fault, so to say. So you can get royally screwed over by idiots online. Just fair warning. Although you're not going to have that problem if you're playing this on 3DS, because the 3DS doesn't have online capabilities. It's offline only. Anyway, talk to the chief. And let's go check out the house. Oh, it's fairly nice. We have a nice view of the ocean. Chamber line. He's my kitty helper. Uh-huh. Uh, you're gonna have to read the dialogue for yourself. Just go full screen, put the video quality on HD, and you'll probably make it out just fine. Anyway, he will also... He's where you go for downloadable content, which Monster Hunter Try also did not have because it was on the Wii. And the Wii's network capabilities weren't exactly good in any sense of the word. If you've ever played Super Smash Bros. Brawl online, you'll know what I'm talking about. Although Monster Hunter Try worked pretty well online, and I don't remember Mario Kart Wii having bad online either. Smash Bros. Brawl was definitely a disaster, though. Offline, the game was great, but online, oh, brother. Anyway, let's go see what downloadable content they have. And if they're gonna make me pay out the ass to get it. It's a Capcom game, after all. Freaking Street Fighter Cross Tekken, tw 20 bucks for 12 characters. And it's not like you can only buy the characters you want, it's just get all 12 characters for 20 bucks. Doesn't matter if you only like one character and don't give a crap about the other 11, you're still gonna have to shell out 20 bucks. Anyway... What do we have here? Guild card backgrounds. But at least they're not making you pay for those. I'll download that later, I guess. Quests. Event quests, challenge quests. Let's check out the event quests. 
We have streaking with bullfangos. Okay, this one sounds easy enough. You can pretty much it's pretty much just go and kill twenty wild boars. Which is not all that hard, I guess. I'll download that. Oh, that, that is actually pretty fast. Or maybe the quest is just already on the disc and you're just downloading an unlock key or something. Also, typical Capcom practices. Mm-hmm. No challenge quests yet. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, content previews. It's kind of hard to make out. So this is kind of where you can see what stuff is going to show up in like a week or so, I guess. Oh, this is the guild card, backgrounds and all that stuff. That's that quest I just downloaded. Some other things. A quest. The Dark Demon Sword. Some of these event quests will give you like special weapons or something or materials to make special weapons out of so it's definitely worth to check these out um, yeah that's pretty much all there is to see for now but this is nice i remember there being like event quests in monster hunter try as well but they were like rotated out every week and now you can probably i think i don't know for sure but i think you can just download them and then you can play them whenever you want i'm guessing which wasn't really the case with Try. So let's check out the weapons. We have a whole bunch of weapons and a full set of armor. Of course, it's the crappiest armor there is, but still, better than no armor at all. Okay, first I'm gonna clean this up a little because this is just a mess. Alright, put that there. I am very neat. I need to have everything ordered at all times. Could say I'm not entirely right in the head, and you would probably not be entirely wrong there. Alright, stack up the armor there, that's gonna be the armor box. And... Let's see... I don't think I have enough room to put everything from top to bottom. I uh, have to figure out something. Anyway, it is pretty nice that they give you all the weapons to start out with. At least one of every weapon type, because in Monster Hunter Try, when you started out, you just got a sword and shield, and if you wanted any other weapon, then you had to buy it or make it. And that kind of sucked, I guess. But it did kind of lead to a lot of people just sticking with the sword and shield and getting good with that. So yeah, first I'll uh, reorder them, and then we'll take a look at all the things we have. Because there are several new weapon styles in this game that weren't in Monster Hunter Try that I haven't tried out yet. We have a giant sword. And we have a giant katana. And the sword and shield. And two tiny swords. A big ass hammer. I don't know what the hell this is. A lance. A folding lance. A giant Swiss army knife. A gun. A folding gun. And a bow. So yes, new in this game are the dual swords, the hunting horn, which was that thing, that crazy looking thing, the gun lance, and the bow. Haven't ever used any of those, but I'm gonna stick with the long sword for now, because that was my weapon of choice in Monster Hunter Try. Hunter person? What's up, little buddy? Gonna get to the Mogo Woods, go out that way. Uh, I was supposed to do something over there, I think, that the old guy said before, but I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue because I can't really read it, so... Uh... Oh, he gives me a whetstone, that's nice. You need those to keep your weapon sharp, because if you're out slaying enormous beasts, your weapon will get dull and it will not do as much damage as it can. So, always keep your weapon sharp. Oh, that's nice, my guild card. Awards. Oh, these are definitely new. That wasn't in Try. They really did expand the game quite a lot. Eh, card list. Oh, this is where you can see all the guild cards of the people that you've hunted with online, I think. Status, where you can like see all your skills. Because it's pretty deep, actually. It's 
pretty RPG-like. If you think that this is just a brain-dead game, then you are sorely mistaken. Anyway, that's all for now. Next episode, we will hopefully get some action. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.